Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I was going to kind of do a quick little clothes haul if you will. Um, I got some shirts at a great deal. Like I basically stole them but I didn't steal them. First of all the shirts I'm going to be showing you today are from JCPenney and Ross. So with that being said let me get I'll show the Ross ones first. I saw this little number and I was like, oh my, because, you know, we all know me and anything sparkly is like t my life and I live for it. And I loved how it was spaghetti strapped, but then it had the little sleeves. So it was one of those like peekaboo shoulder type shirts and it's just really flowy and cute and I love it and it was $10. And next, I've been wanting one of these shirts, and I haven't been able to find one. I was, was like seeing them everywhere, and then finally I was like, I want one of those shirts, and then I couldn't find them anywhere. Does that ever happen to you? Because that happens to me with literally everything. So I found this shirt at Ross. So it's long sleeve, and it's like spandexy material, and the sizing is one size. One size fits all. So it's very stretchy. Um, I did try this one. I did try them both on in the dressing room. And let's just say this one is kind of one of those shirts that like, if you pull it up to the point where you can't see the, the middle of your bra, like in between your boobies, um, it looks funny. It kind of gathers here and it just looks like it's pulled up and not laying correctly. But if you pull it down to where it lays correctly, like it's so low cut that you can actually see the little strap of bra, like in between your boobies right here. So... With that being said, um, I tried it on without a bra, and it looked much better. Um, you're either going to want a deep plunge bra, I think that's what they're called, or you're going to have to go braless. So, just so, yeah, just so you know about that. Unless you pull it up and you're okay with that, like, gappage right there, then, then you can do whatever you want. But, again, this was $11.00. So that is what I got at Ross. Next is some stuff I, the stuff I got at JCPenney. I got this stuff. So cheap. Okay. So first of all, what am I going to show you first? I'm gonna show you first? I'll show you this one first. This one says, I slay. And I just thought this was adorable because I love the peekaboo shoulders. And I... I'm looking for long sleeve tops, but I don't like them really thick because I feel like I get, I'm always cold, but yet like I feel like when I'm in a big hoodie or something, I just almost start to get like uncomfortable claustrophobic-ish and like I get hot, even though I'm always freezing any other time. But um, so that's why I like long sleeve shirts that are thinner and that's exactly how this is. It's like a peach color. It's simple, just says I slay, period. I got this in a large. Um, I didn't try any of these shirts on, obviously, because I'm buying them online. So I always just buy things in large or extra large when I haven't tried them on. Because if anything, it's better, be a little, it's better to be a little loose than too tight. So that's the first one. And that one alone was retails for $34.00. Now, you know how pennies and all those other retailers work. It's, okay, well, this is $34, but, you know, you have this sale, blah, blah, blah. So, I think um, it was $24 on, $24.26 on the actual site. I saw this in store, and I seriously just had to have it because, first of all, I don't think it's a particularly attractive shirt, and I freaking hate the word bay. I mean, is that how you even say it? Like, you're my bae. What does that even mean? Like, isn't a bay like, a form of water or something? Like, I feel like, like, I don't get it. Why, why is that a word? A bay is a broad inlet of the sea where the land curves inward. I don't even know what that means, but yes, that is the definition of a bay. Of course, that bay is spelled different than this bay. I don't know where bay came from. I'm way too old to be saying bay. Hey, bay, go do this. Hey, bay. No, what? I mean, come on. But it says champagne. It Champagne is my bay, And that's why I had to have it, because anyone that knows me knows that I love me some cheap Gérard 
Spumani Champagne. This one, they're both very soft. Um, again, this one was uh, $36. I remember in store when I saw this, it was on sale for $17.99. Remember that. I can remember that. And then last, but certainly not least, we all know my love for mermaids. And again, another long sleeve but thin sweatshirt with Ariel on it that says, Mermaids have a lot more fun. Kind of cheesy, I know, but you know me, you know, I, well, if you watch any of my videos, you know I love mermaids, you know I like Ari The Little Mermaid's my favorite Disney movie. Um, this one retails for $34.00 believe it was like $14.99 or $15.99. It was somewhere close to the same price point as this shirt, but I think a couple dollars cheaper. I remember specifically this was $17.99. And now, as you've all been patiently waiting for, I'm sure you're so anxious to know, what did she pay for those glorious, glorious clothes? For all of this, all of these clothes plus the camisole that I do not have, not including the ones from Ross, just from Pennies, these three from Pennies, $20. Yes. For all three that are listed all above $30, I cut them all there. All of them, $20 plus the tank top. That was my JC Pennies uh, slash Ross haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and have fun shopping. Bye-bye.